Well, good morning everyone. Back again for another short video clip, but today it's something a little bit different. I've got about 10 grams of um, small gold nuggets that I found with the SDC and the 6000. Not much good for jewellery in its current form, so I've decided that I would melt it down into a button. I've got my borax ready. It's my flux. Uh, I'll use the borax just to help the uh, gold nuggets flow together and remove any impurities that might be in the gold. And I've got my bricks ready and my crucible. Just a common garden variety potato. I'll just hide that out and I will use my oxypropane torch as my heat source just to melt the gold down. Fairly simple task really, it will only take a couple of minutes so um, let's get started. Okay, first job. Let's cut a little bit off the top of this potato. And then all I need to do is just use a teaspoon and just carefully remove some of the inner section of the potato just to make a crucible shape. And there we have it. Now I'll use the torch to uh, take out all of the moisture so I can leave that in place. So there's no real problem with that. Now all I have to do now is set it up and uh, add my flux and my gold and I can get started. Okay, first job. Just a little bit of borax in the bottom. Just about a quarter of a teaspoonful. Carefully tip the gold into place. Try and clump it together if I can. There it is. And then a little more flux on top. And then it's just a matter of getting the gas lit and we can make a start. Got my pliers ready. Now to start with, I don't want to get the borax blowing out of the crucible. So all I'm going to do is apply gentle heat until the borax starts to melt a little bit. And then I can increase the heat as I go. As you can see, the potato is starting to dry out, so I can increase the heat now. And you can see that the potato is actually uh, turning to carbon. And if we look carefully here, within 30 seconds or so, a lot of this gold will start to melt. It's just starting to melt now. And I'll keep this heat on for about a minute, just so that all of the nuggets on the inside melt and roll together. I'll just reach over and grab a little bit more flux. And that should be enough to do the job. Right, the gold is just about molten, but I want to let it shape nicely into a nugget. Just to pick up all the little pieces around the edge. Give it a little bit of a shake. That's a nice looking little button there. Just a little bit more heat, just to make sure I've got everything. I can see the, the uh, liquid borax floating around the top. I'll take that heat off. 
I'll allow that to cool for 15 or 20 seconds and then I'll just drop the whole thing into the water. That's just about it. And there we have it. And if I give that a bit of a wash, I can feel most of the borax coming off already. And there I have it. There's a nice little button of gold. And what I might do is just get my scales out. Make sure that's not hot there. I'll weigh this up. Ten point eight seven grams. So that's a nice little button of gold. As you can see, it's very, very pure gold. It's well above ninety eight percent this gold, so it's very, very good, clean gold. So there we have it. That's one little button that's been formed very quickly and very easily. Anyway, guys, that's about it for me today. So until next time, it's cheers for now.